Don't be shy with the doctor. Tell him, tell him what you know about yourself. And when you do something like that, then you have an open relationship with them. Nothing private about anything, but it doesn't go out of that office. That's what I trust with the doctor. It's okay to talk to your doctor. You do have a voice. It's okay to be emotional because, once again, we're only human. At the very minimum, we have 20-minute appointments for all appointments. It could be the most simple thing, and we still book 20-minute appointments. Um, for, you know, any, like, full physicals or for any complex problems, we usually book 30 to 40-minute appointments. We just try to bring your story to them, and, um, you know, sometimes, um, you know, just have to realize that they're, sometimes they're a bit busy, um, so that might uh, um, they might seem a little bit rushed. But um, you know, uh, it, they're 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 there to listen to you and uh, to see why why you're coming there. What they have to do is explain it right from beginning to end. So like, um, explain to them exactly what what you're feeling and how it's affecting your life. Because a lot of people will say, well, it's sore. But like, what does sore mean? Like, sore that you can't pick up your child or or you can't walk the dog. Um, sore that you can't make breakfast. Um, so explain to them what you can't do, how it's slowing your life down or inhibiting your life. I think that's the biggest thing. Yes. I've never, I haven't slept for three days because this headache's bugging me. Speak, talking about it is good. It makes you like if you're afraid, you have to tell, let it out, don't hold it in. If they're elder, then have a, a family member attend with them. Uh, preferably a family member who's involved with the, the medical history. Before you go to the doctor, write down everything that's, that's wrong. With if you're somebody who really does struggle with how to communicate in our very linear kind of Western medical model, feel free to bring in, yeah, a trusted family member or a friend or some of the community members have like one of the care aides or the nurse that they have really connected with and they like them to be in. A lot of times I do go in with some of our community members, whether it may be the fear of finding out what their diagnosis is or not understanding. Being honest about what you're taking and what your beliefs and values are. You know, there's very few drugs now that are completely incompatible with any sort of herbal remedies or a lot of herbal remedies. They can be married. Um, so if people want to engage in both, I don't think it has to be an either or. For elders, sometimes they don't see. They're sick. They don't get there right away. Get their checkups when needed and do it annually and that way you know exactly what's going on in your body. Um, if you have um, any types of pain in your stomach or anywhere in your body, see a doctor right away. You never know what it may be. It can be cancer, it can be something else, we don't know. For people who may have ongoing health challenges, um, I would book regular appointments. Um, and so even if you don't, not sure you have something burning, it, it's good just to go and to have things checked in on um, at, on regular intervals. Because that way, um, if things were to change or if things are getting worse, say, um, we'll be able to detect it early. But then when things are going well, we'll be able to figure out what, you know, what has happened in say the last four weeks that has caused your, say your blood sugars to get better or your blood pressure to come down. Um, and we can celebrate your, the successes and also um, build upon them. And if you don't, then that's usually when we see the very complicated patients that say, oh, well, I've been in pain for about four or five days and I should have probably gone in about four or five days ago, but I, I just thought I could deal with it myself. And um, you, that, that's when you really see a lot of issues. So um, just to go in early when it's happening and it can be dressed really relatively easy. And so having regular appointments allows a, you know, maybe the things that are really low on your priority list, um, you know, to come up because you're not like the, the burning things have been taken care of already. Culture around um, healing is that, you know, Western medicine will come and fix you. Um, and what I always like to remind people is that actually the greatest source of healing is in your body. Even if you break a bone and you go into a hospital and they put a cast on it, that just helps to prevent it from getting worse. Your body is actually doing all the healing all on its own. Um, and I, I like to remind people that because oftentimes when it comes to cures, so like normalizing blood pressure or blood sugars, medicines have um, a certain amount of power, but most of the power is still within you, meaning um, changing lifestyle, um, exercising, moving your body more, eating foods that you know align more with 
probably our old foods, which is how our um, how we evolved, our bodies evolved to um, thrive off of things like moose and salmon and um, you know some vegetables and some berries, um, but certainly not with the heavily processed food that are, is around now. Um, so all that to say, like when we look at you know your cardiovascular risk factors and how you can minimize them, medicines help a little bit. But when we look at when you start moving your body more and when you start eating foods that can help foster healing in your body, um, the effect is way more dramatic than any of the medicines. And health be begins with your mind. You have to want to be healthy. Don't wait till the last minute and come in and check out your anxieties, your pains and discomfort. To the youth and young ladies and young men, you need to have at least a checkup in the th three month period because it's your health. I mean, you know, if you don't look after it, you're going to pay for it. So it's rather you be safe than sorry. Right now we're learning too many things too late, too advanced. Really take care of yourself because it's your body, your mind, your physical being, your emotional being. We have tons of resources in our community. Some travel accommodations to help them support because they have to go to Prince, say Prince George to, uh, to go see a specialist. Um, so there are some available um, uh, opportunities to help that. There's also the Northern Health Bus that can help out so that you can make it a little bit cheaper if, there, if that's difficult to get into uh, to, to see some of your meetings. They have a lot of activities happening at the health center, so being involved with their local health center and... There's the telehealth that we utilize. Some doctors are actually um, video conferencing you so that you can actually still stay in your community. You don't have to actually access to um, have some supports. Um, there's communities that have only nursing stations and, and may need some support from by doctors, so this is a great way to help out with that. Everybody's going to be a little bit different, so finding a healthcare practitioner that you do feel comfortable with is very, very important. Um, and not everybody's the same, like not everybody who sees me um, is going to be the most comfortable with me. Some of them may be more comfortable with a male physician, and that's fine because we all have different personalities. And, um, and then ask a ton of questions. I find there's a lot of misconceptions or uh, there's lots of fear when it comes to um, Western medical therapies and tests um, out there and um, that people find it hard to talk to um, Western trained physicians or other practitioners about. Um, and I think those are, um, those are valid, but being able to talk about them, and it doesn't mean that you'll do them, or, um, and you may still decline, but just getting the full story. Um, furthermore, I think a lot of people still have that fear and then still engage in the healthcare system, um, which I think almost sets it up for um, having worse outcomes. I always say like just with our like our traditional medicines like part we know part of the reason why they work is because the healers are infusing prayers and, and, and stuff in the medicine and then we believe it we believe we're gonna get well and when you have that belief it makes it so much more powerful um, and the same with Western medicine um, when you believe what you're taking is going to make you better it's going to work much better with your body. Mm -hmm.